Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Last week, you learned how to outline an image using the shadow glow effect. Today, you're gonna learn how to create a backdrop shadow on a text with Canva Pro. Let's get started. Create a text box with the word or phrase you want to add a backdrop shadow effect to. You can press T on the keyboard or use the text tab on the left panel. If you need a more in-depth lesson on text editing, please look in the description after learning the backdrop shadow effect. Once you've positioned your wording in the middle and center, you will download this using Canva Pro's feature of downloading a PNG with a transparent background. Go to the Uploads tab so you can upload your newly downloaded text image. For me, this comes from my Downloads folder. Bring the text image to your page. You will notice that instead of having a text panel at the top, it now has the Edit Image button. This is how you will create a backdrop shadow effect. Size your image text to match your original text. It may take a little time to get them to line up perfectly, but it will truly help your overall appearance once you add the effect. I just changed the color of the text panel, the original one. That helps me with alignment. What I'm gonna do is make sure that I have the one selected that has edit image. Click edit image and go to shadows. We will go down to backdrop. You will notice that there is a backdrop shadow back there. I've still got it selected and this is the control panel. Click it, you can make adjustments to that shadow. You want it further down, you can move it further down. You want it more horizontal, you can move it horizontal. I like to turn the transparency to 100 and you see it there. And you can even turn the blur down. And so there we've got it and I'm gonna change the color. This is just a gray 909C98, but you could use any color that you want. I mentioned earlier that sizing it properly would help with the overall look. I'm gonna take both of these and size them both down at the same time. That way they're still the same size. I'm gonna put this on top. You see how it's behind? Right click, bring to front, and I can drop this right on top of it. I'm using the arrows on my keyboard. I might need to make a slight adjustment. I can change this back to black, and now it just, it looks better. This is a little fuzzy, and this is not as fuzzy. Using the arrows on my keyboard, to line it up properly. You can use this for any of them. Let's restore the original. It actually changes size again, but that's fine. Edit image, shadow, and watch. Let's do angle. You can change it. So that's pretty cool. For a free way to do this, type of design would be to duplicate it. You would change the back one to the color, whichever one you want. Give it a little rotation and then keep this one straight. Comment below what effect you'd love to learn next. Thanks so much for learning with the Canva Classroom. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss future tutorials. Please smash the like button so I know you want to see more lessons like this one. I recommend learning from this video right now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!